Spinal cord stimulation is a procedure that we utilize that actually places some small energy on the back side of your spinal cord to help block the pain going to your brain. These devices are patient controlled. The devices all work very similar. However, the device um, is specifically programmed to your pain to improve your pain control. We work very closely with the representative from the major spinal cord stimulator vendors, um, as well as your pain team to dial that in specifically for you. Spinal cord stimulation works on patients that have generally neuropathic pain or nerve pain. That can be from diabetic peripheral neuropathy. It can be from post-laminectomy syndrome. So if you've had a surgery before and that surgery hasn't worked um, or hasn't provided you the relief that you're looking for. It can also work for something called CRPS or chronic regional pain syndrome. You should discuss with your care team whether spinal cord stimulation is the appropriate therapy for you. If you're identified to be a good candidate for spinal cord stimulation, the way that I describe it to my patients is it's a two-step process. The first step is truly just a trial phase. With a trial phase, what I'm doing is I'm basically placing needles in the epidural space. Um, under x-ray guidance, I'll place a needle down uh, next to the spinal cord, not into the spinal cord, but on the outside in the epidural space. And I thread these leads, almost like a fishing line, into the needle. Once they're in place, the needle comes out and you're left with these leads just on the outside of your skin, which we tape on the outside of your back. And then the trial phase will send you home with something like a fanny pack. You wear that fanny pack around for six to seven days. Um, during that time period, uh, with the assistance of the representative and your uh, pain team, you can run through various different uh, programs with the assistance of the patient controlled device to um, tune in specifically for your pain pattern. Again, for that trial phase, you get six to seven days to, to zero in on the pain control for you specifically. At the end of that trial, if it's successful for you, we will go on to what we call the permanent. If it's not successful, we'll reevaluate you to identify if there's other procedures or medications or treatment that would be beneficial for your specific pain pattern. 